create a vector layer just go to menu layer create layer normally I start with a new temporary scratch layer because I can decide later to make it permanent and I can decide what kind of format I would like to use in the future but right now I just gonna select a new temporary scratch layer however you can choose three different uh, predefined file formats such as spatialite, shapefile or geo package layer in this case I'm gonna choose temporary and then we will see how to export it or make it permanent the first option is the layer name in this example we're gonna start by creating a points layer so it's gonna be very descriptive the name is gonna be just points the next option is the geometry type here we need to select what kind of geometry we want to create since we are going to create a point layer we need to choose point and then we can decide if we want our layer to be three-dimensional we can add the set dimension and the slope which is the end values the next option is to select the coordinate system I like the coordinate systems that are in meters rather than degrees so I'm going to choose pseudo mercator as I have been using for all the examples the next step is to design a preliminary database for our layer we will start by adding an identification number normally IDs are integers or whole numbers in this case the linked is the quantity of number positions that the field will allow to be stored in it now we just need to add to fields list this information to start forming the database structure if we got it wrong we just can select the field and remove it from this list there are several data types that you can store on a field in this case we want to choose whole number but you can choose also text well whole number decimal number boolean which is true and false date format time date and time and also binary we're gonna create three different uh, fields the ID then a name which is gonna be text and the link is gonna be 25 so 25 characters of text and then a field for uh, area in this case the number of area it's gonna be chosen from a different layer but let's just uh, keep in mind that if we want to store this value it has to be in decimal numbers you have to be careful in choosing this number because the link is not related to precision precision is just the amount of decimals so if you choose a link let's say six with a precision of six you will store only six decimals without integers if you change the link to seven and keep the precision to six you will store numbers from one to nine and a precision of six so in this case we want more link so I'm gonna choose uh, 20 this is just an example and the precision is gonna be only 3 so we will store 3 decimals once you finish you just have to press OK you can modify the structure of the database later on notice that once you create your layer it is automatically added to our layer panel in edit mode for this example I'm going to create three different layers this one one for lines and one for polygons notice that the process is exactly the same for every single kind of geometry The structure of 
each uh, layer is similar. The main difference is that for lines, instead of a field called area, it's going to be called length. As it is a custom for my examples, I'm going to use quick map services to have a background layer and I'm going to zoom in into Istanbul, specifically in the region of where the Hagia Sophia is located. I'm going to start by adding a point. The layers are already in edit mode, so I'm just going to select the layer that I want to edit and click on this icon which is the point icon for edition mode. And then after you click on the location that you want, uh, this window will pop up automatically. For right now, we're not gonna add the area. For the line, the process is the same. You just need to click on each location where you want a vector. And in order to finish the line, just right click and the window with the attributes form will open. In this occasion, we're not gonna add the link as well. You will see why. Notice that every time you select a new layer, this icon changes. Uh, but the process for lines and polygons is exactly the same. Just click on each location where you want to add a vector. And once you want to finish your polygon, just right click and then these attribute forms uh, will appear. And in this occasion as well, we will not add an area. Once we finish, we just can rearrange our layers and then we need to save them using the floppy disk icon. And by Pressing the small pencil, we just can uh, deactivate the edit mode. Now, the next step is to make these layers permanent. As you can see, by right clicking on each layer, you can see the option to make them uh, permanent. We're gonna start uh, with the points layer. And the format that we're gonna choose is geo package and if you press the file name you will see that the layer name is also the same but we're going to change the file name to vectors and the layer name to points you will see why and the reason we're going to choose geo package there's nothing else to do here just press ok now we're going to do the same for the lines so right click make permanent geo package we're going to find the file that we just created, which is called vectors. And now the layer name will be lines. And we're going to do the same for polygons, but instead of making permanent, we're going to use save layer as. You will see the difference. The main difference is that in this window you can select the coordinate system but in this case we're just gonna keep it the same a geo package is an open non-proprietary platform independent and standard based data format for geographic information systems uh, wikipedia digs it a geo package is built up as an extended sqlite 3 database file uh, it's a single file with the extension GPKG that can contain several layers, uh, points, polygons, lines, or even raster. And the reason I choose this file is not only for you to know it, but also because it's an efficient way to manage your data. QGIS uses two different ways of um, adding this kind of data into the program. You can either just select the file as a normal layer and then if it has more than one layer, 
you can select what, which layer you want to add to the layers panel or you can create a geo package connection and you will have your list of layers available anytime in the program. I'm going to finish this video by showing you how to add the area to the polygon and the link to the line. It's really simple. You just have to toggle to edit mode and open the attribute table. I'm gonna start with the polygons. So toggle in, edit mode, right click on the layer, open attribute table. And then you will find that the area says null right now. So I'm gonna press this small open field calculator uh, button. And then instead of create a new field, I'm going to update an existing field, which in this case is the area. And then I'm going to find in this list geometry, a dollar symbol area, and I'm just going to double click in this expression box and you will notice that immediately the area is populated. And now you can see the area in this uh, field. We're going to do the same thing for the lines. For the line is the same. We just need to select the lines layer, toggle in edit mode, right click, open attribute table, open field calculator, update existing field, linked. In this case, we need to find something that is dollar symbol link double click okay and then the field is populated we saved we toggle edit mode again and that's it if you want to double check that the measurements are okay you can use the measuring tool and apart from measuring each segment of this line you can measure the whole line uh, if you right click you stop measuring and you can just go to the measure box and check the segments linked and the total will appear just below it and that's it thanks for watching